What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Revis Talk Sports. In this video, I'll be giving you my top five NFL spread picks for week five. Week four was a very tough week, but we hope to bounce back in week five. So the first game that I'll be talking about is the Green Bay Packers versus the Los Angeles Rams. The Packers are 1-0 against the spread as the away team, and the Rams are actually 1-0 as the home team against the spread. After 10 games playing against the Minnesota Vikings, the Green Bay Packers actually have a against the spread record of 7-3. Meanwhile, in the last 21 games that Stafford has played against the Green Bay Packers, he is 9-12. The downside for the Packers is that in their last 21 games, they are 8-13 as away favorites, and the Rams are 2-13 and as underdogs since their last Super Bowl run. The Rams have a very shaky offensive line. They've been decimated by wide receiver injuries with Nakua and Cup not playing in this game. And a very shaky defense. I expect the Green Bay Packers to come into this game and prove a statement that they need to win this game. Right now, Love has not won a game in 2024. They do know that if they lose this game, they're going to have a tough time crawling back to this division. I give the Packers the lean in this game. They're the more healthier team. They're going to come into this game very hungry. Give me the Packers minus three. I think this is a nice line, and I think we can cover this game very easily. Next, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Indianapolis Colts. The Jacksonville Jaguars remain winless. Meanwhile, the Colts have won two straight games and defeated the undefeated Steelers with Joe Flacco. The Colts have yet to cover a spread as the away team, and also the Jaguars have not covered a game as the home team. But in the past three meetings, the Jacksonville Jaguars have a plus 56 point differential against the Colts at home. The Jaguars have won nine straight games against the Colts at home. I do think that the Jaguars finally find a way to win their first game in 2024. I find it very hard to believe that they will start the season 0-5. I think that they will find a way to score points and get through this Colts defense that is currently last in the NFL in yards allowed. Very risky bet, but I'm willing to take it. Give me the Jacksonville Jaguars minus three, just based off their history at home against the Colts. And I just have a hard time believing that the Jaguars will start the season 0-5 or else they may clean house in the coaching staff. Give me the Jacksonville Jaguars minus three. Browns versus the Washington Commanders. The Washington Commanders have been looking very impressive, winning three straight games. Meanwhile, the Cleveland Browns have not looked good have, since they've lost two straight games. Jaden Daniels has been on a tear. He currently leads the NFL in completion percentage. There is a lot of pressure on this commander's team to win four straight games. The Browns are facing a lot of injuries on the offensive line, but the defense have the capability to neutralize this commander's offense. I think that the Browns may have a chance to potentially win this game. This can be a potential trap game, as I can see the public being all over the Commanders based on how well they've played the past few games. But you also have to look at it. The Commanders defeated the New York Giants, which is a potential top five NFL draft team. They went through the, the Cincinnati Bengals defense and the Arizona Cardinals defense, which is pretty much like Swiss cheese right now. I'm not discrediting Jane Daniels' performance. He is my rookie of the year coming into the season. But the past two, past two to three weeks, they have not gone against quality defensive teams. I do think that the, that the Browns are a quality defensive team. Out of the past four meetings between the two teams, the Browns actually have a 3-1 to one against the spread record. I do not believe that the Browns can win out, outright, but I think the Browns' defense can neutralize this offense. Give me the Cleveland Browns to keep it close. Give me the plus three and a half to cover that spread. Next, we have the Dallas Cowboys versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Dallas Cowboys are 1-0 against the spread as away underdogs, and the Steelers are 1-0 against the spread as home favorites. The Steelers suffer their first loss of the season. Meanwhile, the Cowboys are coming in to win two straight games. The Cowboys will not have Michael Parsons or Lawrence. Therefore, there is a big blow to this defense, and I'm sure the Steelers will be looking to expose that side of the defense. The Cowboys are definitely going to rely on Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb, and Aubrey to help with points and play keep up if they are down. 
The Dallas Cowboys have covered three straight games against the Pittsburgh Steelers and are 6-1 and one against the spread, coming off wins against the New York Giants. Meanwhile, Justin Fields is 3-0 and against the spread in the last three night games, and Mike Tomlin has an against the spread record of 23-15-1 since the retirement of Ben Roethlisberger. This is going to be a very close game. We do know crazy things happen on primetime. I do think that this will be a very close game. I potentially think that the Cowboys can win outright, but give me the Dallas Cowboys with the points. I think they can cover this two and a half. It will be a back and forth game. I do think that the Cowboys have the capability to play keep up or force the Steelers to play their game. Give me the Cowboys at plus two and a half. I'll take the dog in this spot. Last but not least, the New Orleans Saints versus the Kansas City Chiefs. The New Orleans Saints are two and one, are two and zero oh against the spread as away underdogs, and the Kansas City Chiefs are one and one against the spread as home favorites. In eleven games on Monday Night Football, Derek Carr is seven three and one and has a better track record covering as an underdog than he is covering as a favorite. Patrick Mahomes is 11 and 11 against the spread in home night games. And when the Chiefs have a spread of minus three or more, Mahomes is 38, 43, and three against the spread in his career. So he really isn't the best quarterback to cover spreads if it's a field goal or more. The Saints are looking to snap their losing streak. Meanwhile, the Chiefs are still looking to remain undefeated in the 2024 season. With the loss of Isaiah Pacheco, Hollywood Brown, Rashi Rice, the Chiefs really need to get creative to find ways to win, remain undefeated, and especially of how Patrick Mahomes has been playing recently, which he has not looked good the past four weeks. I actually think this line is a bit too high for my liking to take the Kansas City Chiefs based on the injuries that they face on offense, based on how Mahomes has looked, and based on Mahomes' track record with a line being field goal or more as favorites. I think this line is a bit too high for me. I think the New Orleans Saints can keep it close. I don't think the Saints are going to want to lose three straight games in a row. They're going to want to make a statement on prime time that they're still legit. We all saw how the Saints performed in the first few weeks of the season, and I think they'll definitely do their best to replicate that and give the Chiefs a run for the money on prime time at Arrowhead Stadium. Give me the New Orleans Saints plus five and a half. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on your week five spread picks. Thank you so much and catch you guys next week.